Number 3. Give someone a fish and they'll eat for a day. Teach them how to fish and they'll want the Murakniu Companion Fishing Filet 155 to prepare the dinner. The flexible blade is made of Sandvik stainless steel. It is Number two. More than just a bread knife, Mercer Culinary's Millennia Wavy Edge 10 inch wide bread knife has a one piece high carbon stain free Japanese steel. Offers easy edge maintenance and rapid sharpening for a razor sharp edge. With an ergonomic handle, the Wavy Edge features teeth along the blade edge to easily penetrate the tough outer crust or skin of the food protecting the soft inner part from tearing. More than just a bread knife, use it to slice large fruits and berries. The Millennia Wavy Edge Wide Bread Knife. Number 1. There we go. So when you're filleting a halibut, having a good flexible knife will make removing the fillets much easier. To start with, come down here, open the tail up. I like to use a shorter knife for cutting your sections into the pieces you're going to remove. Starting at the tail on the white side, come in here, get the point of the knife just inside the skin. Staying above that fin there, come all the way up to just to the just across from the cheek. There's a faint lateral line running up the fish here that you're going to follow with your knife. Get inside the skin, you'll feel that backbone run along that. As soon as you get up here by the pectoral fin, dive back into that cut you made. Now on a larger fish like this. You can stick with the smaller knife, or if you'd like, go to a slightly longer knife. Having a nice flexible blade here will allow you to make fewer cuts to remove that fillet. Starting on your backbone cut, take the knife in, make your first cut, and jump over these bones here. Come down to the first cut you made. Check out the description for more info and latest price.